Okay, I got a uh, Lynx kitten, and I'm going to uh, do a full mount on this one. So first thing I need to do is is get a measure from the base of the tail, right there, and on along there, come up around the base of his head, right out to the tip of his nose, this area right there, and I use a cloth uh, tape for that. Plus, also need a measurement from the corner of his eye right there, right where the corner of the eye is, right to the tip of his nose. And as well, you'll need a measurement right around his belly in this area. That's for a full form, which I'll get from uh, Texas Taxidermy Supply House. And there's uh, quite a few of those around, so anyway, we'll get at that and see what we got. So the base of the tail, you just lift up the tail like this, lay the tape in there, and just follow along without moving this rub. Oops, moved. That was 30 inches, 30 inches up that way, and usually I use the calipers for the, uh, the measurement for the, uh, for the corner of the high. I just take a set of calipers and measure from the tip of the nose right there to the corner of the high and check that, check that out on tape so it's rough there now, and that'll be roughly in this one. Well, an inch and a half. The next one I need is around, is around the girth. That one. So, fattest part of the belly. And this is the way I do it. Let's see what that one is. So we got 14 inches. 14 inches. Okay. Okay, so we got 14 inches. Think 14 inches girth. One and one half high. Two nose. And 30 inches from base tail to nose tip and that should do it so, and we need a set of eyes too so that one's a kitten okay okay now I'm going to start to uh, skin this fellow and what I'm going to do this is going to be a standing mount so I'm going to uh, cut this foot right down along right there and I'm going to uh, pull the leg out through this way and do the same so there's a slit here and we'll do a slit in the belly there and we'll do the same with this paw right there we'll take a slit there because that's down on the, that'll be on the floor and same with this this one Slit that and pull the leg out through. Same with this one here. Slit it and pull the leg out through. Okay, I got one foot trimmed out there now. This is all I do. I got that foot trimmed out. So what I do, I just cut off this here and there. And cut off the toes along there. So as I can trim it a little easier later on. So I'll just take it the knife and uh, cut it all off. You can pull, pull it all down through. Anyway, they just unjoined it there somewhere.
I'm just going to un undo the uh, metal cables there now. And you cut them off with the, with the cutters if you want. Whatever I did with my cutters, I don't know. Anyway, you got a pair of these guys right here. So. These things, uh, you can unjoin them, but you can also cut them off like that. That's about the fastest way. Now we got the got that much done there, so we're ready to skin this leg down. She still froze a bit yet, so I'm going to wait for a while. Next job uh, I do now is. Uh, this is the, the back foot, and uh, I'm going to skin out the claws now as I go and do that after I'll say, but this is one claw, retractable claw, and you got to get right down to the, the nail. This is the nail right there. So you just snip that off with the, with the cutters right next to the nail, and that needs to be salted or Calorex or whatever you use. Salt first. Put salt on it. So that's, uh, that's one claw taken off. And you gotta do all of those so there's heat. Ten something anyway. Nope. Okay, <clears throat> I got the uh, claws taken out. A little bit of salt now on that. Calorax, borax, alum, whatever. But anyway, put some salt is the best on this here and fold it back in. That'll stop the fur from slipping. Oop. So you gotta do all of them like that anyway, four feet. Oop. This is the front foot. I'm taking the the last of the bone out. And you gotta put some salt. There's the toenail. The toenail right there. Well, as you cut, be very careful in this area right here. There's a little, a little joint.
just a little knuckle joint right there. And you can cut that off. There's Calorax in there. And some. So I got one more. One more to remove on that foot. And they're all done. All the toenails and that's taken off. This one right here is next. Okay, I got that one uh, one side skinned. I don't need to uh, split it open the whole ways up like a case. Just keep more case skinned. Anyway, uh, I just uh, just continue on now and uh, get able to pull that one through that leg. True for food. Okay, I got the. I got the tail and it pulled through. I just pulled the tail right out there, so you can see the heinous and stuff. So I'm going to continue on now, like a case, uh, just skin it like a case skinned uh, the rest of it, and uh, shouldn't be any problem. I'll be able to put the form in it when it's ready. So, anyway, let's continue on now, skinning with the knife and pulling as I go. I got the feet, the rings all down there now pretty well. I just got to salt it and, uh, and uh, put it into the uh, mixture. 